Hey everybody, I'm back again with the second video for today. Um, I decided to do go ahead and do the next video as well. So um, in this video, I want to talk about um, Bill Cosby and his court situation that he's going through with rape charges um, with all these women that came out. I think it was like 10 women, 10 white women who come out and said that Bill Cosby um, um, raped them and drug abused them or one of the two. He did either or to them. So anyways, that's what we're going to talk about today in the video. So um, this has been going on, I think, for the past two years. Um, Bill Cosby was accused of raping all these women or using drug, drug abuse. Um, I think back in a time while he was, you know, filming um, the Bill Cosby show. Um, but anyways, so I find it funny because it's like, it seems like our black men are target by white women. It seems like it's white women culture when it comes down to false allegations of rape. Um, now I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you already that I do not believe that Bill Cosby did this. I don't believe he touched these women at all. I don't believe he did none of this. And I'm not saying this just because he's black. I'm saying it because it's facts behind this. It's a lot of facts behind this. White women are known for falsely accusing our black men of rape. It's been down in history. It's been down in history for the longest. It seems like it's white women culture when it comes down to accusing our black men of rape. I don't know if these white women, they just do it for attention or they do it so their white men can go crazy for them and see how much their white men love them. I don't know what it is, but it just seems like this false allegation of rape thing is in the white women's culture. Like they love to accuse our men of touching them or raping them. It's like they desire our men of doing this. It's like they lying on purpose because they probably really desire of being raped by a black man. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but to me, it's sick and it's twisted in the mind to accuse somebody for false allegations of rape. Women like this, they need to go to jail. They really do need to go to jail. Um, I, If I'm not mistaken, I think Bill Cosby, he was on his way of being owning um, CBS, um, network, if I'm not mistaken. And I also explained and talked about this Bill Cosby thing in the Tommy Lauren video. When I was talking about when Tommy Lauren, you know, um, I was reading a meme about Tommy Lauren, um, uh, what somebody po um, post about white women, you know, spreading false allegations basically. And, you know, it's in their culture and this is well known for white women to do this. So um, that's what, and I also talked about the Bill Cosby and everything in that situation, using that as an example of, you know, what white women do to our black men and their culture, you know, in the past. And these modern day times, it's like really, it's really, really crazy too. It's just the same as back in the day. Um, now, that's what I'm saying. This goes way back in the day, especially when it starts with Emmett Till. Um, those of you who don't know that story, he was a 13 year old black boy and you know, um, the white, this white woman claimed that Emmett Till whistled at her and that's what caused him to be beaten to death by white supremacy. She screamed out, you know, he whistled at her, like trying to holler at her or something. And, you know, I think this bitch just did it for attention because it's like, it's like they want men to bow down to them. They want men to love all over them, chase after them, especially our men. They want that fatal attraction. They want that fetish from our men of them raping them or touching them, looking at them. And you know, the funny part is like she came out finally and said it was false. I think she's like a 97 year old woman now. How old she is, she is in her 90s. And she finally admit after all these years, that Emma Till did not whistle at her, that she made it up. That right there shows like 
what white women do, it's crazy. They are known for this. They are known for false allegations of rape. You know, this little boy was literally beaten to, he was beaten to death. You can't even recognize his face. And her, it was so brave of his mother and his father to have an open casket and to let people see like what's going on and let people see what our people face. You know, she was very brave for that. And I salute his mother for that, you know, to allow the casket to be open so people can see she did it, you know, to prove a point. And this not only happened to, you know, Bill Cosby, but this also happened to Tiger Woods. I also use this example, too, in the Tom and Lauren video. Um, Tiger Woods, all of them white women coming out and saying that, um, they had sex with Tiger Woods. Some of them turned out to be lies. They was just doing it for attention. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's crazy. Like it happened to Tiger Woods and then it happened with Chris Brown. Chris Brown, um, this bitch wasn't even invited. He was throwing a jury party and she wasn't even invited. I think her friend was invited and her friend just tagged her along to the jury party. And the girl... The white girl, she claimed that Chris Brown had a gun Be and um, because um, Chris Brown, I guess, thought she was stealing or she was stealing. And I guess he told her to get out and she lied and said Chris Brown had a gun and forced her to get out. And it's funny. The funny part is she had um, text her friend, one of her homegirls, while she got kicked out of Chris Brown's house. And she said, Chris Brown just kicked me out. I'm going to set him up. So she called the police and said, lied and said Chris Brown had a gun and threatened her and to get out his house. It's crazy. And um, what really started it is when I think the girl, when I guess she when she was getting caught from stealing one of the jury. And I think she said a smart little comment. Oh, well, the jury's fake anyway. Something like that saying it was fake. And I think that's when Chris Brown told her to get out. But she um, lied and said he had a gun. Next thing you know, the next day, the next day, not even the same day she called. The next day, SWAT team, helicopters all over Chris Brown's house. All over Chris Brown's house. And Chris Brown looking like, what the fuck? He don't know what the fuck is going on. This little white bitch caused all this commotion just because she feel but her for getting kicked out the house. Her little white privilege should help her this time. Um, this time when it comes down to her being white and not getting kicked out. You get what I'm saying? So she used her little white privilege. Instead, she used her little white privilege on the police. And you know, they go in for a white woman. If they found out a nigga did something to a white woman, they would go all the way the fuck in. Like dead ass serious, they would go in. They would go in for their women. That's how I want our black men to go in for us. But the stuff they go in for their women is ignorant as fuck. It's very, very ignorant and it's racist. But anyways, um, so Chris Brown, he made videos and saying like he don't have no gun in his house and he's not letting them in his house because they got to have a permit to come in his house. And it is true. They got to have a permit in his house. You think... Chris Brown's going to let these motherfuckers just come in his house without a motherfucking permit to search or have a search warrant. Get the fuck up out of here, motherfucker. You're not coming in my house that I bust my ass and brought because you think I got something that I don't motherfucking got. Even if Chris Brown did have a gun, it wouldn't really matter because that's his right to have a gun. This is his premises. This is his property. And most likely he ain't stupid enough not to have a gun that's not licensed to carry because he's rich. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think he will be that stupid. But to keep it real with you, I don't think he never had a gun. So that's what I'm saying. And it turned out this bitch is a terrorist. This bitch has been known for stealing in other states. She is wanted in other states. But this bitch is still not arrested. How? I don't understand this. This bitch is wanted. For stealing somewhere else. And she's not arrested. But Chris Brown instead he got arrested. And paid like $15,000 for nothing. To get bailed out of jail. He wasted a shit ton of money. Over a white bitch with her false allegations. Of him having a gun. That's what I'm saying. Our men. 
our black men is being targets, not only from white women, but from the police. Our men is very, very targeted. And like, it really hurts me. It really, really hurts me that our men is target because white women love to put on our men that they rape them or harass them. You get what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's just like, I don't know if they want attention or they just want that desire of a black man touching them, raping them, or they just, I don't know. They just want to see their man go crazy and defend them. It's crazy as fuck. All these false allegations of rape and all this bullshit these white women pull on our men. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. And, you know, the thing about Bill Cosby is that really pisses me off. It's like, after all this, you still date a white woman. He's not even with the white woman, you know, he was married with the first time he was accused. They divorced. She divorced his ass real quick. She already assuming, instead of sticking by her husband and believing her husband, she already assumed he messed with all these women. And divorced him. And she was a white woman. And then he go turn around and date another white woman. After all this. He did that OJ shit. That's crazy. It's like I don't understand. It's like our men would never learn. It's like they would never learn. That movie Get Out is real. Sh it's serious. It's really really serious. And these our men is not listening. They hard headed. They steady dating these women. They steady dating they oppressors. They don't really give a fuck about them. They only with them because mainly because they got money and they successful. They ain't gonna say all of the all you know interracial relationships is like this. It might be actual interracial relationships where a black man had a day one white woman. Okay, but I'm just saying like let's face it, like our men is like mainly targets, especially our rich black men. They are mainly targets to get sued or false allegations of rape from these white women. It's crazy. And like our men is still not listening. They still being hard headed. They still dating these women. That's ruined their reputation. Now his reputation is ruined. Because of these false allegations. And it's crazy because they only trying to ruin it. Because he's the only black man that actually came out with a good black show. That's positive. It show positivity. The only black show that I know that a black doctor, a black man doctor with a black family and black children with positivity in it, a positivity, finally a show that came out with positivity on black people in our images, on in our families. Because we don't really, now we just really don't have positive TV shows. We got on um, reality shows, all they do is throw drinks at each other, talk down to each other. We got that. We got women talk about each other, gossip to each other. And we, you know, we, or if we do have, you know, actually shows, it always be stereotype. It's always a black man selling dope or you get what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. It's like always the stereotypes or it's a loud ghetto and an obnoxious black woman. You know, it's never, they never have positive images on black families when it comes down to movies, TV shows or reality. It's always negativity on our race. Once again, destroying the black race images. And that's what they're trying to do to Bill Cosby. He, this man has brought nothing but positivity. And, you know, all these white women coming out and saying he did this to them. That's what I'm saying. It's jealousy and it's envy on our black men, our successful black men. It's jealousy and it's envy against them. They don't want them to be successful. They don't want them to succeed. They want them to still have this negative image on them. No matter how rich, how wealthy, how a positive image they try to put, they would still find something on a black man to put him down when he's trying to come up and uplift our people. It's crazy. Now his reputation is fuck. He probably would never get a job again after this, even though he's rich, but he will probably never like, he would never, like, be able to do shit again. His reputation is fucked. And I salute Rudy. Um, I forgot her real name. Keisha Knight. I'm going to call her by her real name. I salute her for standing by his side. That shows that, sisters, we still have our men's back. I salute her for still standing by his side. And I love that shot where they have them laughing. I love that shot. That was so beautiful. I salute Rudy for still standing by his side. Well, Keisha Knight. I'm sorry, girl. Keisha Knight. And she still looks very, very beautiful. Very. She grew up to a beautiful young black woman. 
You know, and that right there, that's supposed to have been his wife, the one to divorce him. That's what she's supposed to be. And if she was a real ass wife, she would have been still by her husband's side. Or that should have been his girlfriend by his side. Where is his white girlfriend? You don't see her nowhere. I see Rudy. That's all I see. That shows that black women, we still have y'all back. No matter how much y'all try to bash us on social media, no matter how much y'all try to put us down, we still have y'all back. And we're we going to need y'all to do the same thing back to us. Because black women, we know what's up. We know what our men go through. That's what I'm saying. Before y'all date interracial, like I said in my last video with Serena Williams, before y'all date interracial, please make sure that these people understand discrimination. Please make sure they understand the system, systematic racism. And please understand that they know this stuff. Please get rotted out. If you're going to date interracial, get rotted out white people that will understand your struggle. Because it's no other women can support you like a black woman. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. Black women, we, we support our men. No matter how much they try to say we don't support y'all, yes, we do. Because when y'all get shot, we support, we the first ones that march for y'all black asses when y'all get shot. But we don't get it back when we are killed too. And I'm going to need, I'm black men. Y'all need to take up for us black women. Y'all need to protect us. Like you, like these white men going crazy for their white women. Y'all need to do the same thing to us. We need that love and we need that compassion. We need it back. It feels like we the only one in this world. It feels like it's a relationship. We feel like we the only ones in the relationship. That's what it feels like. We feel alone. We don't feel protected. We don't feel guided. We need a guidance from our black men. We need the same thing back. Because we do got y'all back. We do have it. It's still some black women out there. That's what I'm saying. Stop going by stereotypes and past experience. It's some rot or die black women that's still down for black men. We need that same treatment back. Because I'm telling you, this world does not love you black men. They don't. They hate you. And they want you dead. Our men is powerful. Our genes are powerful. They want us killed off. They're trying to kill us off. And it's up to us to keep our genes going. That's what I'm saying. When y'all date these white women, like make sure they rot or die. Make sure they have your back. Because can't nobody have your back like a black woman. I'm going to tell you that. And, um, you know, that's just the way it is. Now, I'm not saying only white women does this. I mean, it's plenty of black women and accused, you know, black men in the NBA for rape, false allegations of rape. But that's less, that's really less likely to happen. It's mainly white women that does these things. This is in their culture. This is in their culture. They are targeting our men. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, I just really hope he passed his case. I'm praying for, I'm, I'm going to pray for Bill Cosby. That's all I can do. I'm going to pray for him. I really hope he make it out, which he probably won't. He probably won't, even though he is innocent. They probably still find a way to put his ass in jail. They probably will. They don't care. He's black and he got money. That's a threat. They're trying to destroy his reputation. It's crazy. It's crazy. We at war, black people. We at war. We at war. It's crazy. But um, anyways... That's all I got for right now in this video. Please like and subscribe. And please state your opinion how y'all feel about this bullshit with all these white women coming out and accusing um, Bill Cosby for false allegations of rape and false allegations of drug abuse. Okay? Please like and subscribe to that. All right. Thank you, guys. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye.